hopefully we're live streaming. Are we on? Are we on? Let's see. Let's see. I've been having some technical difficulties getting started on the stream. Oh, it looks like we're on right on right on. Whew. <laughs> 10 minutes of technical difficulties gang. Hello, we are live. Yeah, it, I had to restart the computer a few times. Uh, it was uh, giving me an error that it wasn't connecting to the server. But then uh, when I tried to restart the computer was locking up OBS was locking up so uh, some technical difficulties some technical difficulties hello gang how are you doing welcome to another live stream I've been looking forward to this one and I was starting to get very disappointed if we weren't able to go live today how's it going Chicho doing good dragons case man how are you doing happy and healthy for forging forward yeah with many like many people right many many people um let me do a little intro um today is march 14th 2020 and we're doing a live stream on uh, sort of open discussion on COVID 19 uh, novel coronavirus we're going to take a look at some data and uh, a table and some charts okay and we're doing this basically two weeks it's been two weeks since we did the last uh, stream. Uh, Keiki Ofen, how are you doing? Welcome to a stream. It's been about two weeks since we did the last stream where we looked at the data and I added the data and loaded that stuff up onto BitChute and YouTube. And I said I was going to do these on a monthly basis, but because there was a lot of things unfolding, like in two weeks, the 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 board has changed a lot right so i spent a fair bit of time today uh all of today basically a little bit of yesterday just uh, getting these tables and charts or table and charts together uh so we could do another update on what's going on and i think it's important uh, to do this okay dragons i work in the restaurant industry in new york city needless to say i'm barely employed these days also means i can catch live streams awesome dragons Glad to have you. There is a positives to things, I guess. Right? Chicho, what's up? Holden Who's? How are you doing? Welcome to two nights in a row. Ah, tch, tch, tch. yeah. What's up? Holden Who's? And um, this is going to be the case for many people. I just talked to another friend and uh, she mentioned that they're having some employment issues as well. And I've talked to some other people as well. So this is going to grind a little bit right hope the government catches up with what they should be doing and gets people paid that uh, can't work case man i agree with you and here's a kicker with our centralized governments right we started talking about the at the time just a coronavirus and we used, we, were, we started doing this looked at the data initially during a mass stream in mid-january towards the end of january and did We've, we've got a playlist on our YouTube channel and we've got the videos on BitChute and stuff. We started talking about this, looking at the data, saying that it was going to be problematic in a big way, right? About two months ago, governments must have known this, right? And if they didn't, they're completely incompetent. <laughs> Just wanted to put that out there. And uh, for those that are watching this on BitChute or YouTube, or any other platform that we load this on we're just going to do a little bit of salutations wait a little bit about 10 minutes or so and um, we're just going to say hi to everyone now what we have planned to do in this live stream what i've lined up to do in this live stream we're going to go through this table and this table is uh, sort of an expanded table of the previous one we looked at two weeks ago okay and i've provided uh uh, there will be a link in the description of the video that's loaded on um, BitChute or YouTube. And for those of you who are following this live, if you go to the Patreon page, okay, uh, which is basically chicho.com backslash uh, or patreon.com backslash chicho, I did a post today, okay, sharing, uploading this table as well as 13 graphs that we're going to look at. So I know these numbers are pretty small because we have, we're basically going from January 20th 
until March 13th. I grabbed the data from yesterday as well, right? So this table has approximately two months worth of data, right? There's a high res of this available on our Patreon page that you can take a look at. And today is March 14th, so that's the post you want to look for, okay? And all the graphs I loaded up as well. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go through this table a little bit, but mainly focus on the graphs, okay? Um, and then what we're going to do, or before that, what we're going to do is I want to show you just uh, two uh, bar graphs and just four graphs that I've grabbed from online. Okay, so we're going to do a little intro. So for those of you that are watching live, in about 10 minutes after we read some comments and talk to some people and stuff like this, we're going to look at those four graphs, which is basically the same graph. I just graphed four different versions, which is basically the concept of flatten the curve, delaying the infection rate, because this thing's most likely going to work itself through the population, right? So what we want to do is delay the infections, right? Reduce the number of confirmed people per growth. We want to bring down the growth um, per day, right? Percent growth per day, something we've talked about and we're going to look at as well in this stream, right? Because that way the health um, infrastructure in whichever country you're in is not going to get overwhelmed and those people that need critical care can get that critical care and we're going to look at a couple of bar graphs with the more uh, fatality rate of COVID-19 and do the comparison of COVID-19 to the flu because a lot of people have been uh, misguided in comparing this to the flu because it is not the flu right so it's important to look at the fatality rate which is pretty you know one of the main things we have to keep in mind okay aside from that uh, i'm just gonna catch up on the chat a little bit and i do um for those of you watching on bitshoot on youtube uh or any other platform um we're live streaming this on twitch okay and we do announce these live streams on twitter okay i'm just putting these up because people have been asking when am i live? Um, mines and gab all links will be provided in the description of this video okay aside from that welcome everyone sorry for that i don't think theaters are going to be open any longer in the near future yeah spider-man i don't think so either uh i'm surprised they still are uh, for some reality for us now yeah uh crisis cougar i got a feeling that's might be the case as well okay happy to catch one of your streams man blood uh, chat but just in case um, uh, you know some people are gonna uh, you know stop watching the stream or might as well put this at the beginning when it's loaded up collecting the data and looking at the data as it as it progresses looking at COVID-19 as it progresses so we need to get a good three then too welcome 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 to the stream team oh what was Chicho mentioned oh the Patreon one Oh yeah, I should grab it. The images. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down, gang. Uh, I'm just gonna come down. Um, Lima, how are you doing? Just make sure uh, I'm catching takedown as well. I might pop this up later on. Closest um, I have to a collective spreadsheet editor is this one, which is a collective text editor. Have, uh, in the heavy topics, we've got a COVID-19 folder, and uh, I'll take a look at it. And uh, see how much time i care up time so we're about 15 minutes in okay that's good that's good timing um welcome everyone by the way we found out that i laugh out loud tony and today we found out reno mike how are you doing today we found out one of the best quotes uh you should put to memory and it is from dune Frank Herbert's Dune is fear is the mind killer, right? Chicho, for you. Okay, we're starting this a little bit later, but uh, Chicho, men's draw cycle, case man, right? So you can't be afraid because really fear makes you make, make like uh, it introduces mistake. I need to read the names of them right now if you haven't seen this graph yet this chart learn it 
right? Because right now, what everybody is promoting, and there's different versions of this graph kicking around, right? Here, let me pop up the other versions. Here's one. Here's another one, right? Here's another one. And this one is the simplest one that's been going around. I, I'm not a huge fan of this one, but it's okay, right? But all these four graphs are really telling us the same thing. They're saying this COVID-19 virus is going to play out through the population, right? How many get infected is is it going to be exponential growth? Is it going to be S? That's some of the stuff we're going to look at, right? But it's pretty much given that it's going to roll out through the population. What everybody is really trying to do in the healthcare sector right now, and anybody that knows what's going on, right? And we've been looking at the stuff for a couple of months now, right? We know that if this thing's rolling out through the population, we can't have it spiking, right? We can't have everybody getting sick at the same time, right? Or everybody that's susceptible to needing hospitalization or intensive care or heavy care getting hit at the same time because that is completely going to overwhelm the healthcare industries the healthcare sector in whatever country you're in right so everybody right now is trying to delay or slow down the rate of progression right they don't want the spike because when you get the spike more people unfortunately may pass away because they're not getting the care they need or it'll take longer for them to recoup and stuff like this so if you're able to extend this rate slow down a little bit then the healthcare industries in whatever country you're in can deal with it now the line the horizontal line that's going across some countries the line is going to be how more things i want to show you that i graphed grabbed all uh, from online right so right now everybody should be doing your own preventative measures and uh, now the other things i want to show you is this which is let me pop this up as well Boop. so people it looks exponential as well right so keep this in mind as well and for those that have been comparing this to the flu here's the let me bring up the table okay i'm just going to do a little catch up on chat i'm going to do a little what we did two weeks ago so i've added i think four or five new columns right and what we're going to do is we're going to look at because last time we looked at 11 graphs so we're going to look at the updated version of the 11 graphs which includes two weeks of additional data 14 probably 14 14 days of additional data right so we're going to look at two weeks of additional data for those 11 graphs that we looked at previously as well we're going to look at two additional graphs okay and again the graphs are available um, on our patreon page and it's the patreon Boop. if you go to our patreon page and the post that i loaded this table and the graphs on it was loaded on march 14th 2020 okay let's look at the first graph now the first graph is let me take this down let me scroll down this is something we looked at previously right now previously we were into day 43 and we talked about it in a previous video that we were starting to see a kick up right we were hoping that it wasn't going to go exponential right so from day 41 i believe because this is from day one to day 54 right january 20th all the way to march 13th right so about two months worth of data seven weeks worth of data that we're looking at which is 54 days or so right now more than seven weeks uh right seven and a half weeks eight weeks worth of data right almost um i am upset about the handling let me bring this over a little bit I'm upset about the handling here in the USA. Just to add to the list, Chicho. Yeah, um, we'll. If there's any anything additional you guys want to take a look at, because we're going to crunch this stuff a lot more, right? I'm going to add more columns as as we start getting more data coming in, right? But what we see here is in the previous stream we talked about, we were hoping that 
this was not going to go exponential here, right? It wasn't going to go, zoop. How, do we, how do I do this? It wasn't going to go, zoop, right? But it is, right? So if you take from day 41 to day 54, that's what we were hoping wasn't going to happen, and it's happening. Now, the reason this is happening, this is the total confirmed cases globally, right? The next graph, if we look at, this is the total confirmed cases coming out of China, right? And we're not making a decision of how accurate the source of this information is, right? We're not concerned about all the theories that the data is flawed or they're not releasing all the information or anything like this. Irrelevant to us, right? Because if we're seeing growth almost grind down to a halt, right? So China numbers looks like they're flattening out, right? Very little growth inside China. So why is the total kicking up exponentially? Because what we're seeing is confirmed cases outside of China going full on exponential like this, right? You can hear the storm outside. We did the stream yesterday and the storm is still going, right? serious windy serious windy right so what we're seeing here is the exponential of confirmed cases outside of china kicking up the total confirmed cases into an exponential growth globally right so if this trend continues what we're going to see is and we have a graph of this available a chart of this available we're seeing right now when we look at the percentages and i'll bring up the graph of this we're seeing right now the total confirmed cases relative to the total confirmed cases china is making up 60 percent of that but outside of china is now at 40 percent of total confirmed cases so it's having a bigger effect on the total confirmed cases globally including china right so this is the total confirmed cases globally this is china and the kick we're seeing in the total is due to outside of china growing exponentially right now the next graph okay that we're going to take a look at is percent growth per day globally right and again keep in mind that two weeks ago we looked at this data right so if you take from day 41 to 54 that wasn't available to us um, actually I guess 42 to 54 that wasn't available to us in the previous uh, two weeks ago when we looked at this data right and at that time we said ah oh, it looks like this is going to start kicking up and what we're seeing right now is percent growth per day globally is kicking up because of the cases that we're seeing the exponential growth that we're seeing this graph right so this is having an effect on the percent growth per day outside of china right and if we take a look at the table i know it's really small gang but in the bottom here if you look at the tables you're seeing right now percent growth per day outside of china coming on to the you know five six seven percent right while outside of china the growth rate is still around 20 percent which we're going to look at right so the total growth rate is kicking up per day globally right the chinese growth rate per day has hit basically zero right so the contribution of china china's new cases to the global total is basically zero the kick up that we're seeing here where we're reaching day 50 51 52 53 54 that's due to this graph this data which is the percent growth per day outside of china and again two weeks ago when we looked at this graph it had hit 20 percent 30 percent that we talked about right at day 39 it hit 30 percent it was fluctuating there and we mentioned that it was going to sort of look like it was probably stabilizing around the 20 percent mark right 
And that's what we're seeing right now. So percent growth per day outside of China, 20%. You have only 53 cases in Taiwan. That's good. That's good. I wouldn't trust the numbers coming out of China or the US or many other countries, right? I don't trust the numbers coming out of Canada. And I'm in Canada, right? Because the tests were delayed. They were not testing everyone right so we're going to see the confirmed cases kick up now that the testing mechanism is kicking into gear and people are going okay we need to get off our asses and take care of this right and put in some containment measures and talk about social distance distancing within our communities right so a lot of concerts are being canceled now a lot of events are being canceled right which is the right thing to do which is the right thing to do right so this graph is percent growth per day outside of china do you think everyone in this chat will inevitably contract about it? i don't know curtis uh, but my guess is people in this chat will get the virus for sure right i like personally for me i'm at the high risk end because my partner is on the front lines right it, so be it it is it is part of our lives right not everyone they're saying basically yeah 40 to 60 percent and that's this season we'll see what happens in next season if this becomes a seasonal thing right like has does everyone uh you know have has everyone you know gotten the flu like i don't know i don't know if everyone i know has gotten the flu right that's over a long period of time yeah thanks case man okay now let's take a look at the next graph okay this graph is total deaths in the world and again we take the 14 14 days back and what we're seeing is again the exponential kick up and for obvious reasons we know that where that's from that's from the outside of china numbers kicking in right giving the total deaths this exponential growth again right and it doesn't look like this this is going to turn around anytime soon it might turn around and stabilize right this is what china's looks like so china's is just oh sorry this is the recovered my bad so we're going to look at the china's but this is the total deaths globally right now this is the total recovered globally and you're seeing the total recovered start to not go as fast and it's turning down right why is it turning down because the growth rate outside of china is exploding right so if the growth rate is exploding there's a delay factor in how long it takes people to recover right some people i believe is two weeks up to six weeks right eight weeks some people have longer term health effects right because it hits the lungs right so some people may uh, be left with some longer term uh, health effects if they're not taken out if they go into critical condition right so we're seeing this turn down which is unfortunate right which is an indication that we're getting total deaths kicking up because the growth rate outside of china is kicking up right the 20 percent okay this graph here is the fatality rate right so we're seeing the recovery rate start to not go into the exponential but roll over right and this is the fatality rate that we're seeing right we knew a couple of weeks beforehand 10 days to a couple of weeks beforehand before uh, who came out that the fatality rate had kicked up to three and a half percent it was making its way to three and a half percent right and we knew at, at least a week beforehand that it had three hit three and a half percent or 3.4 percent before who said it was 3.4 percent so it's good to be aware of the stuff right this is the power of mathematics this is one of the reasons we're doing this right to know what's going on right but unfortunately what we're seeing now is 
the fatality rate starting to kick up again right it's starting to head towards four percent i hope it doesn't go there but right now the highest we got from the table was 3.7 percent fatality rate okay and this is globally main reason the driving mechanism of that is the cases outside of china or the numbers that we're getting outside of china right okay so keep this in mind this isn't uh, this is one of the downsides of the data it's, it's telling us that the fatality rate is kicking up okay one of the other downsides is we're seeing the total percent total recovered drop right it was going up nicely but then it rolled over and dropped why did it drop because the confirmed cases outside of china exploded right so we're seeing the exponential of the confirmed cases outside of china bring down the total recovered big time because there's a lot more people that are infected now right and growing exponentially so this thing's going to come down and once the rest of the countries start to get a handle on what's going on hopefully this thing should stabilize and should start going up again we hope right but that's a pretty steep decline right now right with mathematics when you see graph when something goes like this the steeper it is the more energy it takes to change its direction right just think of it as a car right when a car is going fast it's going to take a lot more to turn it slow it down right graphs work the same way really graphs work the same way okay uh, you can think of them as in a weird way i know it's weird to say but sort of live okay i can't wait until the virus is dropped for sure or hopefully it mutates out of existence right now the next graph here this is the percent the ratio of deaths versus recovered and what we're seeing initially the number of people that were dying relative to the number that were recovered the dying were more than the recovered right because the recovery rate was so long and some the people who were in critical condition some of them were getting knocked off pretty fast so the number of dead was more than the number of recovered but what we saw as time progressed the number of recovered increased a lot right and the ratio of death those who died compared to those who recovered was coming down fast right now what happened is this thing bottomed out right and unfortunately we're seeing it kick up again in the table you'll see it okay the percent is starting to increase again and again this is due to the virus exploding outside of china right so what's happening is there's a lot of people getting sick outside of china and unfortunately the deaths have increased as well it's kicking it up to 3.7 percent fatality right so hopefully this doesn't start going up too fast hopefully it just stays here and goes down again right that's what we're hoping for now all of these graphs that we just looked at these 11 graphs that we just looked at we looked at in the previous stream as well and if you're on uh, you on youtube or on bitchute they're on both platforms we haven't created a playlist on bitchute yet but they are available on a playlist or covid 19 playlist on youtube right and the links to these charts is available on our patreon page if you go to the patreon page you'll see all these graphs right now these are the 11 we looked at previously i got two more graphs for you guys that i want to i want to show you guys right that emphasizes what's happening more and this is basically what we're going to end up doing we're collecting this data in real time and on a monthly basis this this month we ended up doing one at the beginning of the month we're doing one in the middle of the month which is march 14th right now right and we're going to do one at the end of the month march april we're going to do one at the beginning of april most likely april april 1st uh, thank you spider-man okay we're gonna 
uh, do one most likely on April 1st where we have two more weeks of data and take a look at these graphs again, these 11 graphs. And what we're going to do as we continue to collect data, I'm going to start adding more columns and we're going to start looking at more metrics, right? So consider these next two graphs, two more columns that we've added in our table, which is this guy here. Boop, let me bring it up. In this table, we've added two we've added actually four more columns or five more columns to this table and we're graphing creating two more graphs from this it's actually four columns okay we're doing a comparison between columns now on the same graph and we're going to start building this up a lot more and then we're going to start introducing some of the statistics in there start looking at exponential growth formulas and interest rate formulas and take a look at the means and standard deviations or whatnot this is a long-term project right so keep this in mind there's two more graphs we're introducing to our data set okay there's this one okay this is percent total deaths inside china versus outside china right now this virus got a foothold in china and started growing obviously there was most of the mortalities and most of the confirmed cases was going to be inside china right so as they started getting a handle on this they did a huge quarantine measures and decontamination and serious social distancing distancing that for some reason in the western world in my part anyway people really aren't doing it which is uh i think is inconsiderate because they don't really understand how taxed the healthcare system is okay let me take down this patreon thing Doop. that way you're not being distracted by that right uh so wherever you are if you guys are getting together with you know going to shows going to concerts getting together for you know a whole bunch of you and stuff start really thinking about how taxed your healthcare system is and if you have any relatives anyone in the healthcare system right they will be affected by this so start creating even malls movie theaters right anything large gatherings and large like if you're going in a lineup in costco stand outside with hundreds of people to try to get toilet paper uh that's not the right thing to do if you're trying to make sure as few people as possible are infected by this right you don't want to go to large gatherings okay and this is going to take some community type of measure right people need to talk about this and really appreciate what exponential growth means right there's a man that intimately knows a nurse nurses are always working places that are understaffed always always like we're in canada our health care system without covid 19 was operating at 110 to 150 percent short over capacity like really it's huge right if we don't in the western world we and anywhere all over the world but the west seems to be taking this a little bit lightly uh as far as i'm concerned if we don't get a handle on this and reduce flatten the curve right flatten the curve then we're gonna run into problems and this is sort of what we're seeing right now outside of china the total percent total deaths outside of china are going full-on exponential here while china is coming down right take the numbers for what they are we know that the outside numbers you know you can't really question those too much you can say it could be underestimated but there are countries that are reporting legit numbers right now here's another graph which is related to this okay and again this is two metrics we're looking at this is the total deaths inside china versus outside china so there is still deaths occurring inside of china right but the slope of that thing that's linear now right it went exponential and then it's kicked into linear there are little blips and stuff right it might 
expand again in China, right? However, right now it's looking linear. That's a good thing, right? Hopefully it flattens out with a slope of zero and we get a negative slope and it goes down and doop, disappears, right? Outside of China, the total death is on an exponential scale, right? It's growing exponentially. So what that means is we need to take some serious measures to make sure we flatten that sucker out, right? Give it a line, bring it down, drop it, okay? That's what the data is telling us. So unfortunately, again, this graph here outside of China has momentum, right? So it's not going to all of a sudden stop and go away, right? This needs to be turned around. Momentum like this doesn't rarely drop, okay? It rarely drops. So it needs to be put pressure on it okay and right now because there aren't too many other options available to us the best way to do this is make sure you're you know washing and all this jazz but make sure you're applying some social distancing and not going to huge events where one person with an r not value of two or four can infect two or four people right and if they're spending time inside a closed space um, they might infect more people now luckily for us we're coming into spring and there's going to be more people going out more and the sun's going to be shining so this should start turning around uh, nature playing its role but we're still a couple of months away from that and if it's exponential growth for a couple of months that might not be good okay now these are all the graphs that i got available uh today i wasn't even gonna go this far with these graphs and tables and stuff but once i got started this morning i just kept on going all day and putting all this stuff together i got lost in the data um one reason is it is extremely important right and the mathematics reveals a lot and i've heard seen a lot of people dismiss what's going on or a lot of people freak out as to what's going on when you look at the mathematics you get a good feel of what's going on and what needs to be done right that is the power of mathematics okay and again this stuff is available on our patreon page if you want to take a look at these graphs okay aside from that um, i didn't i didn't really read too much from the chat uh, i was trying to get through the content what i'm going to do right now is uh, just go to the chat and talk to the chat and whatnot and um we'll see what people think and if there's any other graphs that you any of these graphs that you guys want to take a look at cl more closely let me know i'll bring them up um right now we can you know leave up a couple of the graphs the table is pretty small to read maybe we'll leave this on as well and take this guy off Ch -ch 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 -ch, the title off and let me move this guy down as well that way uh oh yeah all those graphs are on top there <laughs> okay i gotta turn off these things let me turn off these guys and readjust this so people see that way if anybody's popping onto the stream they'll get a feel for what it means to flatten the curve because that's really one of the reasons uh, i decided to uh, go a little bit more hardcore on this for today's stream okay cool let me take down the patreon thing too and i'm just going to hop into the chat and read up on some of the conversation and see where the conversation takes us possibly up up the boop. not bad <laughs> not bad uh, i better not catch any uh anti-vaxxers getting the COVID-19 vax when it comes out we'll see we'll see Great. hopefully this thing will burn itself out right crisis cougar that's what I'm hoping anyway flattening the curve down 51 minutes already it was 15 minutes last I checked because yeah when you get really I lost 
track of time going through all this data um, today like just fine-tuning it graphing it putting on the trying to center things um, it was fun it was fun how long will you uh, will us teachers be out do you think uh, I don't know they haven't canceled schools in my area yet they canceled a couple of schools just because a couple of kids got hit we're on spring break right now my guess is school's going to be canceled in my area as well if we're not able to flatten this curve get rid of this exponential growth school might be out for the rest of the year okay possibly hopefully not more than a month if we're able to get a handle on this chicho i had to decline a position at costco today due to my wife having a compromised immune system yeah spider-man uh right now it's the right decision to do i think um it, it's not an emergency place to work at costco right uh, i went to the grocery store in my area and the people working there looked really taxed they they looked exhausted right um so spider-man uh, i think you did the right thing thanks for the information see which my pleasure see which knowledge is power very well put good info my guy enjoy enjoyable stream awesome crisis i'm glad you're enjoying it always be making what uh area are you ba -ba -ba, texas by the way here's my snacks for today more pastries right and uh some cheese pastries and cheese and tea chocolate dark tea spider-man and i had a talk and we just decided it's what was best for uh for my health yeah and for spider-man's as well right there are people who are being hit with this who are younger who are being hit hard right so why why play russian roulette it's not worth it right my college just moved online they extended our spring break also to prepare for the transfer to online classes yeah holden they just did it since yesterday or was that the case yesterday as well it is terrible uh, people have to act in the f uh, in the fear these last few weeks yeah it's crazy right like for those of you who've been here watching these live streams that we've been doing regarding COVID-19 we weren't talking fear we were talking information knowledge know what's happening prepare yourself you know be cautious uh, understand the situation understand the system that is the key right chicho mukbang time <laughs> I mentioned it on the Discord, but I uh, postponed my wedding until this all blows. Oh, really, Case Man? Wow. We have elderly family uh, members. We don't want to put in harm's way. Awesome, Case Man. Smart choice. Smart choice. Got to make the cautious, uh, smart decisions. 100%. 100%, Case Man. For me, just, just so you know, I'm trying to convince some of our friends and stuff to cancel some events that we've planned right uh, it's the best thing to do uh, right yeah smart choice case man i'm glad you did that i have a stockpile of oatmeal i've been oat eat, i've been eating oatmeal all day today with apples and some mulberries and a little bit of chocolate uh wheat protein uh almonds honey uh green tea and vitamins to last me two months nice just as much to curb spending general health as to this whole deal awesome and you need some protein in there oh you got almonds for protein awesome dragons yeah tough decision though tough decision uh, uh see which i can i can appreciate the tough decision right especially considering the economic situation in the world right now that things you know are pretty topsy-turvy some people are going to get hurt economically and stuff like this so tough decision but it's better to cut back uh spending right uh be more frugal than put yourself at risk because if you get hit that cost is going to be 
enormous, enormous. That was Thursday they decided it. A lot of the colleges in Virginia started doing it last week. Awesome. That's good. Smart decision, right? Da, da, da. Is oatmeal a good food to stock up on to last you a while? Uh, Curtis, yeah, rice. You need, a, you need protein, right? Protein can be had through cheese, and cheese lasts a long time. You can have dried almonds. Uh, walnuts. I don't know how much uh, protein walnuts have. They should have some. Almonds have a fair bit of protein, I believe. Uh, you got eggs. If you buy fresh eggs, they'll last you a month in the fridge, right? Peanut butter, almond butter, um, you know, dried, 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 uh, uh, what do you call it? Jerky. You can keep stuff in the freezer, you know, sausages, chicken bones. You can make broth. So you need protein, but rice oatmeal steel cut oats um bread you can keep bread in the freezer just have bread get some flour make your own bread make pancakes right uh, most of us should have enough food to feed us for at least a month right i hope so anyway canned goods dried goods yeah i know spider-man see which <laughs> We said hi last night, right? For some reason, I remembered the name, or I made an intention to remember the name. Jerry Farwell Jr., uh, you may have heard of him, but he runs Liberty University and hasn't yet uh, put classes online. He doesn't think this virus is a big deal. Is this Jerry Farwell, the evangelical dude? But his friends with Trump, so that figures. If you don't know, don't know who uh, Farwell is, look him up. He's an idiot. Yeah, there's a lot of idiots in this world. In power, positions of power, that is. Can you pull up the death rate by age graph? Yeah, for sure, Case Man. Let me bring that up. Let me take these guys down. And I'll keep that one up. Da, 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 da. Okay, this is the death rate by age. Here, let me take this one down too, right? Aha, sorry, I forgot about that. <laughs> it's okay, but thanks for the reminder, Spider-Man. Going in a month from going in a month from now to get food is gonna be a little spooky. Curtis, my guess is right now this was the first wave of people trying to stock up right so a lot of people have stocked up they probably have bought some perishables they bought a lot of stuff they're probably you know when the new supply comes they're probably not going to go try to hoard again right so i'm guessing right now is just the first wave of people freaking out and buying stuff we're going to start getting things coming through again right especially if we can flatten the curve right i don't know how you could possibly enforce any kind of online course structure in public schools especially low-income public schools like mine yeah always uh, be making right now i don't know how the education system is going to fare with this right i know with my students i have students that i have online that i work with i know one student that i was seeing online in uh, that was seeing in person in town just requested that we do our stuff online i said sure no problem and i'm 100 percent okay with that right and i could probably do that with almost all of my students except like two or three of them right the centralized education system is going to be it's going to be decimated after this right like people are, are not going to get the core information they need so if this thing lasts a while so next year they're going to have major gaps in some core courses one of them being mathematics do you have death rate outside china yeah spider-man let me bring that up as well i gotta make this smaller let me bring that up Boop. um okay there we go da, da. infected total other 
This is, oh, hold on, let me take this graph down. Boop. This is confirmed cases outside of China, right? So this is confirmed cases outside of China. This is fatality rate. Uh, where are we? Ch -ch 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 -ch. Fatality rate total. Okay, oh, so no, we don't want fatal. Recovered death total, recovered total. Hey, where is it? Oh, man. <laughs> Let me find it. Da, 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 da. Where'd it go? Total death. Uh, this this is the one right total death uh inside china versus outside china right so outside of china is the red line that's growing pretty much exponentially right unfortunately and right now the number here if we bring up the table i believe it's at 14 uh 1400 it be column uh, is very small for me as well uh, da, da, da. Oh, actually it's 1700 i believe it's right where the information begins is column number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen it's column number 13 right and that's what we're seeing here we'll see what it looks like uh in the next few days oh death rate by age I wish we could see the information between healthy people and immune compromised people. Yeah, there's going to be, I'm assuming there's going to be more data available uh, slowly. And if we make this uh, stuff, uh, what do you call it? If we make this spreadsheet open source somewhere online, we'll add more columns as requested and we'll create a, you know, I'll keep on doing it from my end. And when it's available, we figure it out we'll load it on there right yeah that's why uh that that's thing teachers are bringing up however what's the thing oh about the education if you can step back from this the effect this is going to have on demographics is effect in affected areas is going to be profound profound right and if this thing continues to grow on outside of china right and a lot of the baby boomers a lot of the elderly in the western world get hit in the united states canada in europe and stuff start start getting hit a lot of those people have there's going to be serious economic effects right because there's going to be inheritance and stuff like this and a lot of those people have rsps and whatnot right and that's going to hit the markets again right i'm bringing up the markets because we're going to talk about economics tomorrow but just planting seeds in tomorrow's stream that we're going to do from 10 a.m to 12 p.m we need to talk about this as well there's going to be covid effects on the economy not just because of the supply chain um, not because people have been getting sick but because of the long-term effects if there's going to be a lot of elderly that might be taken out right um it's it's going to be profound it's going to be profound i don't think there's enough good data all public schools are closed in my area yeah that teacher all public schools i'm just going to catch up on the chat all public schools are closed in my area the loud annoying kids downstairs are going to be up past midnight every night oh no i don't think there's enough oh the storm's crazy if we lose the connection gang i'll see you guys tomorrow morning okay it's really windy been really windy the last couple of days i don't think there's enough good data outside china yet every source i've seen for this breaks down uh breakdown has been based on china data yeah this is uh, we're starting to get the good data coming in from outside of china from certain regions anyway right more than half the deaths so far are still chinese yeah but it's changing and if this is going to grow exponentially unfortunately uh we're going to see the change uh the global take effect uh, more if the curve isn't flattened do you think some of the kids will be held back a year um 
I, I got a feeling they'll just do accelerate it, maybe extend the school year uh, start in August, maybe cancel summer vacation. Uh, I don't think they can really just the uh, infrastructure, the economics of it. I don't think they can hold people back because there's new kids coming in to, you know, year one, year two, right? So it's a domino thing. They need to be moved along the line, I guess. That's the problem with centralized education. They need to be moved along because there's constant flow coming, right? What they could do is say, okay, then the really young kids, you know, the parents have to hold them at home for an extra year. So they might delay the uh, advancement of kids going into the public education system. So instead of starting grade one, I believe in grade six, uh, or when they're six years old, they'll start grade one or kindergarten in when they're seven years old, right? So, you know, how many years later? 10 years later, 12 years later, the people graduating are going to be a year older than they are graduating now. We don't know yet. Most places are probably uh, probably push for some uh, kind of remote teaching if this goes on much longer. Some places, a lot of places won't be able to. A lot of kids won't be able to, right? Though that isn't possible everywhere. No, the thing I'm worried, worried about with uh, prolonged school closures is childcare. Yeah, like uh, one stat I saw, one uh, thing I watched, they said basically 40% of nurses have kids in school. So if the schools are closed, the nurses have kids, someone has to watch the kids, right? If they're really young, they're going to have to hire someone to watch the kids, but there won't be people available. So that's going to put a strain on the healthcare system as well, right? Educational authority is well within their rights to simply hand wave any kind of uh, missed instructions uh, had pushed the kids through anyway. Yeah, there's too much hassle with the backup, uh, backup keeping kids back and would cause. Yeah, I don't think they'll keep them back. I think they, they need to push them along, right? Too bad for their education, right? Tony, laugh a little, Tony. Okay, but doesn't press stop streaming and act like it was a storm? But, okay, but don't press stop streaming and act like it was. No, no, laugh a Tony. I don't do that. I love being here. I'm not here because uh anyone's forcing me or anything i do these streams because i love creating this content and i think it's important right i don't know if anybody else is doing this tell you the truth i haven't come across i've, I've i follow news a fair bit people talk about this and whatnot but it's more opinion uh i'm more concerned about uh the mathematics i'm more concerned about the idea because we have a long-term plan right i want to use this information to create a module to teach mathematics probably in statistics so i guess i have skin in the game i'm doing this because this i have i have a vision for this right wife headed out and wanted to thank you for the information she feels a lot more informed awesome spider-man i'm glad i'm glad good 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 tarty toes i wonder if we could see a more standardized national homeschool curriculum that isn't necessarily dependent on internet access tarty toes i'm working on it if you know i'm doing my best i'm doing my best but i do have a patreon page if i'm able to get more funds coming through the patreon page getting the support then i can start putting more resources towards it my whole plan is to create enough content enough modules to teach all of high school mathematics right but not the way our centralized education system is teaching it more in terms of teaching people how they can use math in the real world right if you go math in real life.com it'll take you to my website my tertiary secondary website that i haven't been able to update for about five years now the last update i did there was five years ago because i'm i'm firing on all cylinders maxed out right so i need to 
have funds start coming in on support level on on that front that way i can cut back doing some of the other things i'm doing to be able to focus on that stuff a little bit more just letting you know i'm pretty sure other people might be doing this well i'm pretty sure other people are doing this as well uh, if you like the way i'm doing it which is basically you're seeing the way i'm teaching mathematics uh, by all means patreon page is open <laughs> but in the future there will be 100 percent right unfortunately we need fac facilitators and how do we have hands-on meaningful education without real uh, interaction um, always be making you can be facilitator online i've been teaching online without seeing my students in person and i've had students excel rapidly really it takes care it's gotta be very focused education so the education industry hopefully is going to see a boom where there's going to be a lot more people doing this type of work right online type of work one-on-one -on -one lessons one-on-three -on -three lessons doing instructions like this not in a classroom where the kids are antsy they're anxious with 30 of them 40 of them sitting there 75 percent don't even know what's going on right the other 25 percent are lost even if they do care right our education system needs a complete revamp needs a complete revamp that people that work from home uh i.e uh, twitch tv are super comfy and lucky a curtis to a certain degree but i don't think majority of people are making a living off this i know i'm not 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 off the twitch and youtube i still work like uh most most of the funds that come in to sustain my life to be able to do what i'm doing is not coming from my online work it's coming from my work that i've been doing for 20 years right hopefully things kick into that stage where a lot of people can start creating a lot of informed like amazing content that is lacking in our societies right cut through the bs cut through the propaganda real education right Shit, just got rumors that cinemark will be shutting down for the foreseeable future yeah spider-man uh i'm pretty sure most theaters are going to close down oh man spider-man i hope you're you'll be covered my fingers are crossed that in canada united states if this thing continues on this level the government's going to step in and help people out right in a sense of zero taxes tax rebates uh whatever it is right or stopping um what do you call it payments or they give out a what do you call it so uh, uh, jubilee jubilee is it called jubilee where debts are wiped clean right you mis misunderstood me always be making okay that i'm sorry i teach engineering in a stem academy i want my kids in the shop building and making things as much as possible yeah on that front 100 percent uh always be making hands-on for sure for sure they need there needs to be places where kids can go and participate in group activity and create things maybe working together with other people to write programs maybe doing machine work woodwork maybe collecting data doing surveys and analyzing the data it's going to hit the education system hard and we can't do that at home no my kids don't have the resources no no nobody does i don't think right how could like especially mechanics hands-on that type of infrastructure you need places to go and do right hopefully that's gonna develop into and it's happening right now a little bit in my part of the world anyway there are education centers being i don't know if you want to call them education centers sort of they call them school camps to a certain degree where parents sign up the kids to go build robotics right so i've had students in the summer go sign up for these programs and it's a robotics program where they go for a month two weeks to a month and they build some robots during the summer when school's not in and the kids i've talked to 
that have done this type of thing they learn more in those two weeks in that month than they do all year sitting in a classroom because they're doing right extremely necessary i want my paycheck till i until i can go back to work yeah i'm 100 percent out of my job because i can't go into uh, commercial buildings or uh, people's property luckily i have some nice savings to live on awesome curtis which is what we all need right we all need a buffer it's ridiculous that anyone should have to be worrying about that right now but it's true yeah case man i agree they need to call a jubilee to a certain degree governments and say all financial loans debts everything halt let's see what happens but instead what did they do in the united states anyway they gave 1.5 trillion dollars to wall street right why not give that and we talked about this yesterday if they give in the united states a thousand dollar rebate right tax rebate to everyone that's files taxes which would be i don't know what the numbers were i didn't look it up today but let's say 150 million people right there'd be 100 a 1.5 billion dollar uh, it'd be 150 billion dollars right every month that is given to people as a tax rebate if they get a thousand dollars a month each and they could do that for 10 months right until this thing blows over or until they can figure out how to manage it right instead of giving wall street 1.5 1. Trill, 1. trillion in one shot right crazy crazy yeah but you shouldn't have to dip into savings the government has that uh halt all collect uh collections yeah yeah i don't need to spend for a while uh loving these bike rides over the subway nice rents and bills frozen in one step yeah in step one 100 percent my local power company already sent out communication that they will not be shutting anyone's power off for non-payment effective immediately awesome case man i think they should also freeze all means uh testing and reviews for uh assistance programs yeah they need to, everything needs to sort of right opinion on governments compensating those who will lose money because of this it depends who we're talking about right now in the united states they just compensated wall street 1.5 trillion dollars because wall street lost some money right wow what in the world was that right are you pissed are you an american you should be pissed right you should be pissed and by the way this isn't a republican thing during the 2008 financial collapse the government gave wall street more than 1.5 trillion they bailed out freddie mac and fannie mae to a tune of four trillion and 700 billion a month it, it would like or 70 billion a month or 700 billion. it was just you lost track of what was going on right so during the obama administration they were doing exactly the same thing bailing out wall street to the tune of trillions of dollars right you should be pissed if you're an american or the u.s take money from the military why would we need the military budget right now we could use that for our uh, struggling families spider-man they bombed iraq again in the last couple of days right you got you got a virus going through the united states exploding and they're bombing other countries what in the world is that right wouldn't the financial markets crash if everyone's debt is forgiven no one would uh give out loans after that uh nebarous uh jubilees have happened throughout history and there's a way to roll them out right uh so to answer your question history has proven yes there's hiccups but things recover and jubilees are part of the current economic system in terms of usury being an effect with interest rates because it needs to happen jubilees right i see grouping kids by age for what classes to take counterproductive 100 percent journey uh started 
I talk to parents and other people who tell me that kids who should be soaring in education are kept idle in class 100 percent the kids in classes in washington washington state cannot learn when they are smoking pot i that i disagree with right uh cannabis doesn't have uh you could take two people one consumes cannabis one doesn't the one that consumes cannabis could do phenomenal and the one that doesn't could fail out right cannabis has nothing to do with this okay occasionally you see them smoking on the way to that again that has nothing to do with anything right i i'm more concerned about people kids walking into 7-eleven and grabbing those little shots of energy drink that's pure poison right uh journey started that's like literally pure poison it's and it's it's speed that they're drinking right wow what and they can buy it in 7-eleven right not that i don't believe in prohibition but we have to you know get our data and facts straight the rich are going to eat steak even if they never get another dime forever i don't think they gave that away just very favorable loans I mean, the central banks also buy bad assets, which is basically like giving money, giving money racer kill. They're giving money to who? Like right now, the repo, like they're adding liquidity. Like, by the way, this this collapse in the Wall Street stock market, COVID-19 is being is the excuse, right? It was already ready to pop, right? If you look at the repo rate, they were the repo rate and interest went from two percent to ten percent overnight, where the Fed was introducing liquidity because banks weren't lending to each other overnight, right? The government has been feeding Wall Street money, taxpayer money into the stock market for since two thousand and eight, right? Just feeding it for twelve years, just giving it money, giving it money. Meanwhile, the companies have been buying back their stocks, their executives, their bonuses being paid, paid out uh, based on the stock value. So they've been buying their stocks, even though the company need to spend money on R&D and stuff like this. So they haven't been innovating. Right. They've just been buying back their stock, kick up the stock price to a certain level, and then they cash out like this has been going on. This was a build up to this in the last couple of months, few months. We had a huge influx of CEOs resigning and cashing out right COVID-19 is the excuse right call it a tax everyone knows these things they can just uh, cut a check all they want add one more zero yeah or ten more zeros uh, if it benefits them they'll just conjure it up from thin air IQ 195 Chris Picker, Chris Picker. Uh, they are using the energy drinks to counter the slowness for the Manoa journey. <laughs> They're using the energy drinks to poison the kids, mostly from banks. Oh man, we have been primed for an economic class for years, four years, four years. The only reason it hasn't happened is, and nothing has changed. It's gotten a lot worse is because the governments have been funneling money into the markets right i am not in a medication to make life i'm not into medication to make life i try to avoid avoid it if at all possible good for me it is always okay to disagree for sure journey started for sure for sure uh, it's like it's like here there's people who are lactose intolerant, right? They can't eat cheese, right? That doesn't mean everybody can't eat cheese. Chicho can eat cheese, right? This is very delicious cheese, right? So just because some people can't eat cheese, they have an allergic reaction, doesn't mean we should prohibit cheese, right? Prohibition from centralized institutions is detrimental to our societies.
America needed a health check too bad. We weren't ready. Yeah. And this could be a, you know, a catalyst to uh, get people thinking about what's going on. One of the things that people should be really thinking about is food security, right? A lot of people are used to going to box stores and buying things shipped from all over the world, right? This thing, the positive effects of this, because there's for every negative, there's a positive. The positive effects of this, people should now be thinking, you know what? We're going to start growing gardens. We're going to have community gardens. We're going to have food growing. We're going to plant fruit trees. We're going to have, we're going to start making canned foods, right? We're going to do some preserves. We're going to have a pantry. We're going to stock up our pantry over time. Throughout history, most, most of humanity throughout history has had food reserves. We don't in, in the Western world anyway, right? We're dependent on and used to going in to a store and buying whatever we want and consuming it. We haven't thought about shortages, right? We have to start thinking about that. <laughs> Rambo, welcome. It's crazy how much this virus impacts are like a ripple effect, yeah. Chicho, they will write about this in the history books, right? 100% Spider-Man, 100%. Right now, unprecedented times. For the last 20 years, unprecedented times, really. What's taking place right now for the last 20 years is huge, 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 huge. The U.S. is totally screwed and will be worse off than China in terms of response to this. <coughs> A pastry. <coughs> In China, <coughs> in terms of response. I agree with you. Um, I think the ripple effect through the United States is going to be harsh. <coughs> Don't eat pastries and talk, Chicho. <laughs> My number one hope is that uh, this will be a catalyst for social change. Yeah, case man, for me too. <coughs> Better safety nets better health care investing in things that matter instead of propping up a failing economic system i hope so i hope so people drank the kool-aid after the 2008 collapse right the scam right they drank the kool-aid they thought the stock market going up was good for everyone they didn't realize that trickle down economics was not going to happen right they they believed the words of a charlatan which was the obama administration there were multiple ones the best spoken one was obama right and they didn't in the western world anyway we didn't prepare ourselves for the world running amok because of financialization right hopefully this one will make people realize that you cannot depend on the centralized state to care about you because the centralized state doesn't give a rat's ass about you okay the only thing the centralized states cares about is where the money is okay are you in quarantine no rambo <laughs> we've never had a pandemic of this scale in the information age we have instant worldwide communication and this shaping the response yeah case man and that is a good thing i think the bad side of it is there's globalization so people have been traveling like yin yang because of plane fares really cheap everyone going on vacations everywhere business work so this thing has spread exponentially as well right so information has been flowing at the same rate as the infection right are you familiar with the event 201 conference from october yeah 
last year yeah i linked it up in our discord page with the pharmaceutical companies the bill gates foundation of uh, government and all these officials sitting down and how they're going to deal with things and talking about the economic effects of it and financial system of it yeah i'm familiar with it the pastry went down the wrong pipe pastry went down the wrong pipe i could see wall street taking a banking holiday for three months thank you for coughing away from the camera <laughs> my pleasure <laughs> magic the stock market going up was good for everyone is the biggest joke of the last decade 100% case man and people just drank it like they believed it right I don't I don't understand I, I think they're they just got lulled into stupidity by the random nonsense that Obama was spewing and the absolute chaotic words that trump was spewing right it's weird mathematics i wish more people knew about mathematics right processed foods equals dumbing people nothing is going to get better anytime soon the canadian premier is in quarantine please bring him something to eat case man beautifully said spider-man says to case man thanks spend a lot of time listening to smart people like that guy and it rubs off <laughs> do you think this pandemic will make countries rely less on china and become more self-reliant and nationalistic or at least uh rise in the ideology among people i think uh, uh team talk i think there's going to be pushback towards globalization but i don't think this is going to be uh singling out china specifically because right now you know if you believe the numbers it looks like china has a handle on it and china is now sending representatives uh they sent people to iran and italy to help them contain this virus right because they I guess they're saying they know how to deal with it right or they had the practice they got hit first right so this might bring people closer to china if china helps them out more than certain other countries right just imagine what happens what would happen if this virus runs amok within the united states and the united states healthcare system is not able to deal with it and it won't be able to deal with it there's no way the u.s health system is going to be able to deal with it if this thing goes right so if they can't deal with it do you think the united states will help uh will accept help from china i don't think they will right italy and iran have right and other countries will so we'll see how this plays out if you know is it a checkmate piece i don't think so but uh it could play out in multiple different ways timo that is a fantastic question all right i hope it's gonna become more our economic system is going to become more decentralized like i said before we start thinking about more communities right we build community infrastructure we build community farms right we source out from uh csa community supported agriculture right like for us i've mentioned this before one way i try to support the community and there's a lot of organic or a lot of farms that have popped up in our area because of this model right it's called community supported agriculture csa if you actually do a search on on my site we did we created here let me do chicho uh, actually let me just go to i'll give you the playlist for it i have a playlist where i got together with some friends that were doing something called community supported agriculture csa and i never heard about it before but um da, 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 let me find it mathematics of food and farming here's the playlist we put together right and when did i create this um the first video we put out in this was let me we put out we put this out in 2013 seven years ago right as soon as i found out they were doing this thing they explained to me what it was and i wanted to do mathematics right create content uh to show people how you can use math in the real world so 
together we got together and they explained to me what they were doing and i looked at the mathematics and we put out these videos on the mathematics of food and farming right and what they do is they have a farm and people at the beginning of the season give them money and as the harvest starts coming in every week the people who supported the farm get a whole bunch of goodies every week fresh vegetables fruits and vegetables right eggs right locally usually the ones we get organically grown delivered full of nutrients full of goodness you're supporting a local farm that means you have food security right and you're getting nutritious food does it cost a little bit more maybe a little bit less i don't know right i know food prices have gone up in my area so it costs about the same as going grocery shopping but you're getting food security that's priceless right in these times with this happening right now it's pretty important to have food security uh, i'm just gonna scroll down it seems like the event 201 oh yeah 201 let's check this out it seems like the event 201 <coughs> simulation is this pandemic exactly but it was before the outbreak of covid 19. do you think that uh is just coincidences as robert anton wilson would say there are no such things as coincidences right but a pandemic like this has been planned out way before event 201 this is this is something that people have talked about for a long time it's part of human history will corporations and centralized government try to take advantage of a pandemic like this 100 there's no doubt about it right so the question isn't if they started this pandemic the question is how much power capital are they going to try to acquire right because of this happening right right now two three days ago 1.5 trillion went to wall street damn right that's the key that's the important part we shouldn't we shouldn't get lost in the theories as to how this thing came to be right now we need to decentralize the power so even if this was not a natural occurrence right then if we've decentralized power and we've hold power accountable then power will not have the means to acquire more power right so it's not about getting lost in the theories it's about getting their claws out of our lives right opinion on elections one has a dementia and the other cardiovascular disease <laughs> laugh out tony uh u.s elections uh, i still think hillary is going to step in all right that's my take everything is sold out in germany it'll come back too late for my east coast brain night brothers case man sweet dreams and sisters stay safe stay cautious stay unafraid stay informed right i'll add that part sweet dreams case man it's possible that they pull a biden is sick or something yeah racer kill i don't think biden's gonna what's the saying go to distance i don't think he's gonna go to distance i doubt it very very much right i doubt it very much and even if he does he's not gonna win and i don't think the powers that be really care if you know i don't think like um, the democrats or the wall street party and i don't think wall street cares if trump gets in or one of the democrats gets in because they get paid no matter what i'm biden and i forget this man <laughs> both parties are both parties are gee do you have any idea what might have caused the virus oh i've, I've looked at all the different theories like i've been like if you if you look into theories of how things have transpired politically economically in our world you would have known been aware that something like this was going to come about 
and you would have already thought about different scenarios of how these things would have played out and who's going to take advantage of these things right and what laws are going to be put in put into place to give more cent central centralized power more power how much money wall street is going to get out of the coffers right so we would have all thought about these things right so it's not about how it would have started because i can imagine many different ways of it starting the question is how is it going to play out right how is it going to play out Trump won't win the election because of the virus. Um, I doubt it. Possibly. And if it gets that bad, maybe there won't be any elections, right? Why blame a pandemic on someone who didn't start it? Agreed. Chris Speaker. Trump has nothing to do with this, right? Really. If there is a profit motive behind the pandemic, could it be possible that the media is purposely causing panic to manipulate economic systems and etc i'm not saying i believe this just a thought i had after hearing about event 201 uh, agreed yeah that is a possibility bojangles that is 100 percent a possibility right however i know people in the healthcare industry and i'm seeing the effects so the virus is real right the question is, who's going to acquire more power? Are we going to acquire more power by decentralizing, right? Holding people accountable? Or is power going to acquire more? Or capital going to acquire more power? Right now, because initially capital is acquiring more power, right? But we have to see how it plays out in the long run. I'm hoping we start getting more community activity going on, right? Food security, because food is the essential thing right now, right? Food and healthcare. Those are the two things. And of course, economics. People need to pay rent and loans and stuff like this. So those are the three things. There's more, but those three things come to mind right now, right? We get food security, people are calmer, chiller, right? start building some factories locally to take care of some of the essentials that you need right did you hear uh, hear that the couple that bought all the lysol wipes in, B, uh, in bc profiting thirty thousand quickly yeah there was one person that i think amazon cracked down on they bought twenty thousand uh what do you call it uh, hand sanitizers selling them on yeah those are the people i think they shut them down right in Germany, they say millions will die. I'm moving to Canada now. Rambo, uh, I don't think... Europe is going to get hit hard, by the way. Europe is getting hit hard. It's going to get hit harder in Canada. Uh, but I think the numbers in Canada are downplayed a lot. Right? Vancouver is a mecca, is a hub for travel from Asia. right? Especially from China. So... How do we hold the power accountable if we are already in this situation is it too late? it's not too late always be making one of the ways we hold power accountable right now right now you want to hold power accountable free julian assange right because power wants assange crucified why do they want assange crucified because wikileaks and julian assange and the people that work for wikileaks were holding power accountable right so support organizations institutions people that hold power accountable so the best way right now to hold power accountable is to free julian assange and give wikileaks all your support right and independent creators of course right i would assume whoever brings out the vaccine will ultimately benefit the most i live in the woods I just feel sorry for the people that live in the city yeah the city uh like i had a conversation with someone uh, last year doing a gathering where uh you know we're talking about city life and uh, you know in the farmland life and stuff i my thing was most likely there's going to be maybe a little bit of reversing of people wanting to go and live in cities the best thing to do is to jump the gun and lock down everyone. Mm. 
I don't know. Chelsea Manning is free. Let's free Assange now. Yeah. And uh, Hammond, right? Jeremy Hammond. Jeremy Hammond still has a few more months to go, right? This was a triple thing, triple hit. Jeremy Hammond, uh, Chelsea Manning, and Julian Assange, right? They were trying to take out Julian Assange by putting pressure on Jeremy Hammond and Chelsea Manning, two of the greatest people in the United States, two of the most, two people that should be honored the most in the United States. Jeremy Hannon, J Hammond, Chelsea Manning. They should have statues built in honor of them. They should have scholarships given in honor of them, right? Two people that stood their ground against the most powerful force, centralized institution that we know of on this planet, which is the U.S. government, right? And they refuse to buckle. That is power, right? That's how you hold power accountable. You tell them to f off, right? If you have, if you can, right? I personally wouldn't have been able to do what Chelsea Manning did or Jeremy Hammond did or Julian Assange did. I, I don't want to sacrifice my life for that, right? But I will give my time for this, right? As much as I can. How does one do that, though? The best thing I can do is shoot myself. Up. No, Rambo. Sign this to tell the government to put money in the people's hands instead of Wall Street bailout from the coronavirus. 2020 yang no links 2020 yang okay only myself and uh mods can post links please share that link uh sorry <laughs> sorry links are not allowed <laughs> sorry should we call the stream gang it got intense at the end eh? it got intense at the end okay and if you want to take a look at the graphs that we had up here especially the table again the patreon page has it okay i appreciate the discussion on the environment you have created here i'm going to head out have a great night you too Boj bojangles hope you have a fantastic evening thanks for popping in or morning of course right thank you for uh i could be uh a link to a virus yeah for sure of course that's why we ban links <laughs> when's the next mass stream then mask of raven next mass stream i got well we're gonna do the a 10 by 10 math puzzle on wednesday at 2 30 p.m tomorrow we're doing economics from 10 a.m to 12 p.m personal finance economics stuff i believe and on wednesday from 2 30 p.m to 4 30 p.m we're doing our 10 by 10 math puzzle and most likely the following week i'm going to set up a math stream that's just because people are coming out of spring break if it happens uh, if people go back to school right so we're going to start doing a little bit more math streams as soon as we get closer towards the end of spring break i know mask or i'm missing the math streams as well what amazing stream awesome I'm glad you like spider-man did you wash your hands if you did do it again do it again what's tomorrow about i believe we're doing uh I believe we're doing uh, uh, economics, aren't we? Doop. But, 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 but let me check. Let me check. I'm just going to our Discord page and under schedule. If you go to Discord under schedule, tomorrow we are doing investing in personal finance. Okay. So tomorrow's discussion is in investing in personal finance from 10.30, uh, from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Okay, I'm just playing Yang with the virus. <laughs> oh, no, I get it. That's good. Discord, Discord. Thank you, Spider-Man. Okay, gang. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the discussion. Okay. I hope you found the stuff useful. Patreon page has the charts, the 13 graphs, and the table. Okay. And at some point, we'll put these available on some platform with a spreadsheet that we can start crunching more numbers. Dope stream, Chi. Have a good one. You too, Curtis. You too. We no longer do it. Bitchute. And Bitchute. Thank you, Spider Man, for cranking those out. Thanks, Chicho. Stay safe, brother. You guys as well, man. Spider Man, thank you for taking care of business. Uh, say good night to your lovely lovely wife okay and everyone thank you for being here and if you can make it 
I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Bye for now.